Well, it's getting harder and harder for families out there to find baby formula they need to feed their little ones. When you can find it, it's often coming with some sticker shock. Our Caroline Vandergriff has some ideas on how you can identify, first of all, price gouging and scams during this nationwide shortage. It's a perfect storm of supply chain issues, product recalls, and inflation. The formula issue is horrible. And it's impacting our most vulnerable. In Texas, more than half of all baby formula products are completely sold out, according to the latest numbers from Data Assembly. What's left is expensive. I left crying because I was able to buy four cans for $250. That's a week for us. One can lasts 2.3 days. Top retailers like Target, CVS, and Walgreens have limited the amount of products people can buy at one time in an effort to try to make sure there's enough to go around. But the situation is dire for many families. They're driving to multiple stores a day, only to be met by empty shelves. Right now, um, our biggest concern is price gouging. What we really have to do is, is kind of Price shop, compare, make sure that what we're seeing is fair across the board. Prices have really skyrocketed on third party sites where parents need to use extreme caution. And then you have the people that are going to get it and then they upcharge you. And I have already been scammed already. The FDA says it's working around the clock to address the shortage, but it's not clear when things could improve. The current situations with uh, I mean, uh, shortages in uh, key ingredients, labor shortages, logistical challenges, supply chain disruptions, it would be hard to kind of get it back up to speed uh, within at least six months. Experts say families should avoid panic buying more than they need because it can actually make the problem worse. In Fort Worth, Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. Also